guys, my name is Cassandra and I'm here to invite each and every one of you guys to the Diaspora Transition Network. It's a network for everyone in the diaspora to join. Any issues you have with GRA, Ghana's Register's Office, Lands Commission, they are here to help support and also guide you through it all. So click the link and sign up and join today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe that there's a fish and chip shop yep. in Ghana. Yep. Oh yes, you better believe it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like what made you guys decide to do a fish and chip shop in Ghana? Okay. Chairman. Um, <laughs> so I think from about 2007, uh -huh. um, me and my lovely wife here, we was contemplating what we wanted to do mm -hmm. futurized for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know that point where you reach in life where you question yourself? Yeah and you say to yourself, what direction are we heading in? Mm -hmm. um, so we was always interested in uh, returning back to Africa mm -hmm. and Ghana Pacific. So this is the Ghanaian side of Captain Yao. Okay. Um, so you're not Ghanaian? No, I'm not Ghanaian. Where are you from? Uh, so I'm born and raised in the UK, but my parents are Grenadian. Grenada? Yeah, oh, so I'm a small island. island. Yeah, lovely small island. island. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Island of so, Spice. Yeah, yeah, Spice Island. Yeah, yeah. But so you're I'm, not Ghanaian though? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, you, you know do. what it was funny when I was researching into where um, the largest, biggest uh, population in Grenada was Fanti. Yeah. So oh. maybe I might have some I'm, Fanti I'm descent. I'm telling you, I'm yeah. gone in now. Yeah. <laughs> We've claimed him. Kwame, yeah. right? Ah, yes. 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 Saturday morning. Yes. yes. Saturday yes. morning. Yes. So um, to unpack the story, basically. Um, we was talking about coming to Ghana, returning. I mean, we used to watch a lot of YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the first girls that we watched was a natural Ghana girl. Yes, they got yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she was talking about her experiences. And we were sitting there and just thinking, one day we would like to yeah. eventually get to Ghana. Yeah. Um, first time I came to Ghana was February 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay. First time really? Ever. Your first time ever? Yeah. First time ever. ever. First time ever. ever. Uh, so it was just after the year of return. Yeah. Uh, so we was watching like, all the celebrations during yeah. the year of return. And we was very much encouraged to come and see what Ghana has to offer. So it was uh, myself, my brother, and my wife here. Mm -hmm. And um, we only came kids. for, we left the kids at yeah. home. Yeah, so it was really specific in wow. terms of coming out here, networking, and see what opportunities is available for us. Um, and it was only for a week. Yeah, yeah it was a only for a holiday. week. Yeah. Um, so when we came here, we kind of just hit the ground running. So we was going to different real estates, okay. trying to find out what uh, good property, property. investments mm -hmm. is, yeah. is, is good investments. Um, and we were just looking at different commercial properties as well. Yeah. Um, so we started off in East Legon, yes. I believe, um, a bit pricey over there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we eventually came over to Osu. Yeah. So we was actually at the building adjacent to us mm -hmm. and um, it hasn't been completed as yet. Okay. So we're trying to talk to the landlord of the property and trying to negotiate prices. Mm -hmm. And then my brother literally just wandered off from when we was having a conversation and stood right in front of this building here. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And then he looked behind him and it said, uh, to let sign. Yeah. So immediately he was like, wow, this is a good location. Yeah. Let's contact, <laughs> location. Yeah, let's contact the landlord straight away. Yeah. So then we contacted him. Um, it was like a little back and back forth. And, forth yeah. um, and then we managed to actually eventually meet him, yeah. um, speak to him. And then we managed to uh, secure this place within the week that we was here. Yeah. But at that point, mm -hmm. did you have in your mind to do fish and chips? No. 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 Okay, what, so what was the reason no. of okay. getting a shop? Or right, so first of all, mm -hmm. it was more of, we want to do something in Ghana. Okay. We're not sure of what we want to yes. do. Okay. Then um, uh, the boys, I say the boys, is in my brother-in-law and, um, yeah. and Clinton, they had the idea that, okay, let's do a fishmonger. Mm. So you know the concept that we have in the UK mm -hmm. where the fresh fish is openly displayed yeah. okay, on the ice okay. Okay. and yes. do that. Yes. But then when we came, we saw the layout of the shop and we were like, there's no back entrance, yeah. the smell is yeah. going to be overwhelming, yeah. and everything like that. So then we went to, we, we were deliberating and we went to have lunch and we were with a friend, a good friend of ours mm. called Noble, big up yourself. Um, mm. And then we were all sitting down eating mm. and then we were like, why don't we do something with food? Mm. Right. Okay, the fish idea, why don't we make the fish the main aspect of the business yeah. and it could be around food? Yeah. And then we all looked at each other and was like, fish and chips? Yeah. Yeah. I swear. Yeah, yeah. Literally. I swear, oh literally. Yeah, and literally. that and it was at Starbites. I can tell you exactly where it was Starbites <laughs> in um um airport. Airport, airport Starbites, yeah. yeah. That's where Eric it was. Andor, big up yourself. Okay. <laughs> 
one. You are the one. Yes, <laughs> yes. We got yourself. Yeah. So that, and that was, yeah, that was where the oh idea my came. goodness. So then from there, we came back to the UK yeah. and then COVID happened. Yeah. Lockdown. Yeah, lockdown. lockdown. So we lost literally seven months of, of the of rental. Break. Yeah. Yes. So, <gasps> Yes, because um, we'd already paid our pay rent, you know, in a, yeah. in Ghana, yeah. you need to pay so, in advance, yeah. so we were um, like... Yeah, March, so whilst we were sitting there, so um, back in the UK, my job, I'm a gas engineer. Mm. Okay. Um, so I was actually put on furlough, mm -hmm. um, so we actually had enough time to kind of work through our process. So yeah. during that time, uh, we was gearing up to know that the borders is eventually going to be older yeah. soon, but let's get ourselves prepared. Let's prepare, yeah. So we was going Billing Gates Market. Yep. Early, Four in the morning, yeah. oh my Four in the morning. goodness. Yes. To get fish, could get yep. cods, haddock, place, um, every fish you could think of. Can think so of. now the time came where we're like, okay, let's prepare. But if we're gonna, if we're gonna do this, let's do this properly. Yep. Yeah. And let's prepare and learn everything yeah. there is yeah. right. about fish and chips. Yep. Right. right down from the fish, yep. the different types of fish, the yep. different types of batter, yep. wow. and then down to potatoes down as to well. Potatoes. So I was growing literally Morris Pipers in the back of my garden. Are you serious? Yeah, so I know it takes roughly about 120 days to grow potatoes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, we were trying Desri potatoes yep. as well. All so the different we kinds of really potatoes. So we were really working yeah. on this process to make the best fish and chips. Yep. So then every Sunday, literally, <laughs> we was cooking fish and chips in our house. Oh yeah. goodness. Every yeah. Sunday. That's why so we was I cook getting, it and now I, I will not yeah, eat it because yeah. I've ate it so many so for times. seven months. Yeah. Oh and then goodness. we had um, two neighbours that were with us. Mm -hmm. um, so at the time we was living in Watford. Yeah, okay. So we was living in in Watford yeah. and we had two lovely neighbours yeah. that lived next door to us yeah. and then we finally had the confidence to say we did like a come dine with me yes. ah. so they invited two friends over okay. that we've never met before yeah. and then how we did it we bring over the food to their house yeah. they had school for them cards. to try yeah. yeah and that's when we knew we were onto something yeah. I think that was the moment yeah. that we knew guys what, what ratings here. they give you oh it was 10 it was 10 they, they listen, loved it listen and they know fish and chips they know fish and chips they know fish and chips I know fish and chips listen I can't wait to taste yeah, listen yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you know fish and chips right yeah. it's not our culture no mm -hmm. right it's not. Mm -hmm. but it's so quick and just yeah. so easy to yes. love yes right yes. because like i said on fridays mm -hmm. in london mm -hmm. was our fish and chips day yeah, yeah. that's what you we'll do. have our saveloy yeah. we'll yeah. have our chicken yeah. the pies the pies chicken and mushroom yeah. pie yeah. like yeah. everything yeah you know i want you to go through the process of setting up a business in Ghana for okay. people wow. because okay. it is not easy no, right okay. it is not like you said you had to pay advance how many years yes. advance for the shop did you have um, to pay luckily um we managed to get it down to one okay one good yeah. so you paid one year yeah, but even that that's a lot, it's a lot. Yes, it's really because in London it's like what two months in advance yep. a month deposit, a month deposit and then yep. Yep. another month but here it's a it's a yep. year sometimes two because when yep. we went to East Legon it was three years, three in, years in advance, advance. yeah and in dollars dollars yes yeah it was in US. which dollars yeah, isn't that true. far from the pound yes. so you know expensive. yeah so how was the process so Okay, so the borders open the first of September yep. in Ghana. Um, my wife said she's ready to go, yeah. um, so we kind of packed up where we was in Watford, mm -hmm. and she came here the third of October, yeah, with the 2020, two with the two kids so by herself. The kids, yeah. like, by and the herself, thing is, yeah. let me just put it out there: I can't speak tree fluently, yeah. wow. so I was literally yeah. dropping myself in the land of yeah. like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've travelled here many times, but on holiday. But wow. living here yeah. is completely it's different, different. Ball game. So she, she came here the 3rd of October yeah. and she literally hit the ground running, mm. hands up to her, like, mm. like when you've got a strong woman beside mm. you and telling you magical things can happen. So me and my brother were still in, currently in the UK and we were sending down money in terms of like just telling her, okay, so start with the flooring, yeah, okay. um, get the business registration done. Yep. I think before we left, we got our team number yeah, already. Fantastic. So we so really yeah, had yeah, that. We know that in, because when yeah. we came in that week, we went to the office and yeah. found out you needed a team number. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the first one we yeah. secured. And then the next thing was, okay, get the business registration, registration done. Yeah. Did you have to get your Ghana card? Not at the not, time. Not at the okay. time. Okay. Ghana yeah, card time. was uh, um, just a rumour at the time, time when yeah. I came. Okay. It wasn't, time. this is something yeah. that's happening. Okay. Yeah. But now you need it. For yes. Oh, yeah, 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 you need it. Yeah, you definitely need it. Um, um, so we got the business registration done. Mm -hmm. We allocated the uh, uh, accountants as well. Yeah, because um, you to need to have your taxes. Allow yeah, us to know what, how, how the tax system works out here, oh, um, how we have to post our tax. Um, and then, so after we got the business registration done, mm -hmm. 
in terms of the interior, we kind of had a layout of how we actually wanted the shops to look. look like. mm. um, so it was just a matter of just advising her yeah. and then her giving us back the information. Mm. I mean, God bless her, she was just trying to find workmen off of the strength of mm. her own understanding of who to yeah. reach out to, yeah. who might be able to do it. So yeah. we're just in the UK working. Yeah. And I'm here. And You're she's here. The ground, with the kids like, as well. With the kids with as the well. Kids. Yeah. And how were you able to find a school? How old are the kids? So um, my daughter is 14. She was 30, 12, 13 at the time. Mm -hmm. My son was then just mm -hmm. under two. two yeah, oh my goodness. Two, yeah. So a big gap. Yeah. Um, and I didn't have that, you know, that house help, nanny, no. oh my no. goodness. My grandfather had passed a year, two years before that. Yep. So he wasn't here with that support. So it was, yep. and most of my family in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. So oh I was in goodness. a hotel in Jolu. And also I want to say big up yourself, El Beam, because they were a massive support. And we yeah. have friends yeah. that um, helped us out that we met on that one week. Oh yep. my goodness. Yes. That we met on that one week yeah. as well. When you came before yeah. the 2020. That's yes. correct. Oh so when goodness. we came 2020, we, uh, El Beam was one of the first um, realtors that we yeah. spoke to. Okay. And they was really supportive yeah. in terms of like just supporting us as just the aspirants. Yeah. Um, and when she, we contacted them before she came out here, yeah. they actually put her up in accommodation for yeah. her to stay in. Yeah, and subsidised it massively it, yeah, for massively. me. Yeah. So it, yeah, yeah, it was a really help in the beginning yeah. before she actually found her feet. Yeah. And then um, with time, she managed to slowly find her feet yeah. and the shop started to slowly progress. Yeah. Um, and then we came out here in March yeah. to just finalise um, bank information, yeah, okay. uh, set up our business account, yeah. as well as our personal accounts. Yeah, okay. Signing of documents, Signing and of like documents that. all that as well. kind of legal yeah. stuff yeah. That, yeah. that has to be done properly. And then um, I came permanently myself in May, 7th of May, uh, 2021. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So Which, yeah, I, I couldn't wait for that, yeah. for that to happen yes. because yeah. some days it can be very, very frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. Especially and especially if you're on your own, oh, yeah. you have two kids. Yeah. Yeah. My mum's back there, everybody, my best friends, yeah. everything is there. Yeah. So it's like some challenges that you face. Mm -hmm. it's what like, were some of the challenges? Let's, because I really want, when I'm doing the shows, I want people to understand yeah. that it's not, get mm -hmm. the realness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were some of the challenges? Um, some of the challenges that I faced were trying to communicate what I wanted done right. in the shop. Like, so working with the, the tradesmen. Mm -hmm. So under, letting them understand, okay, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. um, I won't sacrifice what I want just because you want to get it done quick. Yeah. Mm. Time management. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, time. <sighs> yeah, time management. <sighs> difficult. Ta yeah, very difficult. So difficult. Yeah, they're difficult. laid back. Oh my God, they're on the floor, <laughs> lying down, slipping sometimes. Yeah, very laid back. <laughs> like the laid back and yeah. I have to be like, Charlie, come on now. Mm. You said, okay, if I know that if by 10 o'clock mm. they're not here, they're not coming. Mm. No, I know. Seriously. Mm -hmm. That's happened to me many a time. I thought that because in the UK, if a guy says he's coming, he's, he's coming. coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and if he's late, he'll call and say, yeah, no, and say, say, no, they won't call. No, yeah. no, 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 they just won't show up. Uh -huh. yeah. And if you call, they'll be like, OK, OK, uh -huh, I'm coming. I'm coming. These times they're in Kaswa. Mm -hmm. Mm. Or even Kumasi. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it's true. <laughs> so the level of frustration that was, she was frustrated because yeah. you want to get things done. Yeah. Yeah. And she'll phone me and sometimes you don't understand Ghana or Accra until you live here yourself. Yeah, so when you're in the UK and she's like, oh, I can't do this and yeah. I can't, I'm like, babe, it's all right. It's and then oh, he'll be like, can't you just yeah, can't you know, just can't you just just like, go on the internet and yeah, go exactly. and yeah, 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 No, yeah. no, no, it doesn't yeah. work like that yeah. here. No, no, no. And then there's frustrations as well outside of the business where um, at home. So I remember there was a moment where the light, there was a problem with our light, the electric at the house, oh, and yeah. it wasn't light off. Oh, and goodness. I was trying to work out what it was. And there was no electric, oh and it was a Sunday about 10 o'clock. The lights just went off. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. It's not everybody else has light. Why don't I have light? And then it was a simple thing that I didn't realize that I had to touch my electric card on With the meter. The, before it could before work, I, <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. And I went yeah. back and forth, yes. back and forth. And I was like, couldn't somebody have just, just told you? Yeah. yeah. Oh and you I know, remember the little, little yeah, things, you know, things. little, yeah, little I remember things. sitting on the bed like, I just want to go home. Yeah. I just want to go home. Yeah. And he didn't get, he was like, yeah, but babe, just, just go to the shop. Because in the UK, shops are open 24-7, yeah. yeah. especially in the community where we grew up. Yeah. So, yeah. <sighs> frustration. Yeah. But ask me, am I going home? Are you going home? 
You're not going back to the UK? No, no, no. I'm okay. Maybe he will. But for me personally, really? I've been trying to get back to Ghana for a long time time really? since 09 mm. wow so for me to be here it's like a dream yeah oh my goodness i mean for me as well i, I probably wouldn't go back for the foreseeable future mm -hmm. i think when i came here what touched us the similarities between grenada and, and ghana, ghana. Yeah. Um, yeah. the layout how it looks the mm. people is so similar the to love, grenada yeah. even certain things like okay so we have soul you don't have Sobolo. Sobolo. Yeah, they um, have okay. rice, rice and peas. peas. We have rice. Yeah. So it's, it's very similar yeah, yeah. in terms of what I grew up around 100%. and seeing. Um, so when I came here, there was a form of comfortability that yeah. I felt as soon as I got off the plane. Yeah. So it wasn't, oh, this is unfamiliar. Plus, at the same time, how I grew up, I grew up in a very much ch church household. Mm. Um, and the predominantly majority of our congregation was of Ghanaian. Yeah. So this is hence the reason. That's what I'm saying. You, you're Ghanaian. Yeah, Ghanaian. Yeah. Let him claim you are Ghanaian. Ghanaian. So, so, uh, <laughs> like, even who, how he got the name. It's yeah. a Ghanaian that gave yeah. us the name. Yeah. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Years ago. So, so, so our yeah. uncles, when we were younger, so my name's Clinton. Yeah. Um, so they used to call me president. Mm -hmm. And they used, call, yeah, oh, they used to call Saturday Saturday yeah, okay. and Clinton, Bill Clinton, as yes, well. yeah. yeah, I used to get that all the time. And then my brother we used to be called Captain, mm -hmm. uh, specifically from uh, my uncle Boateng, Uncle mm -hmm. Nana Boateng. Yeah, yeah, he used to call us Captain and President. Mm -hmm. And then, so when we were thinking of names, because my brother was like, Oh, I'm Thursday born, yeah, so and I'm like Thursday Captain born. Yao, Thursday. and she's Thursday born, so mm -hmm. Captain Yao just, well, just, just, yeah. like, just made sense, it just yeah, made, made sense. Made and then the whole fish, the sea, the captain, right. yeah. the fish and chips, yeah. everything yeah. just... So it was like, together. it had always been something that was destined to happen. Yes. It just needed us to come to Ghana for it to be yeah. activated in a sense, yes. you know? Yes. And how was it like getting staff? So getting the right people to help you okay. do the right fish mm -hmm. and yeah. do the right chips. So luckily, mm -hmm. um, the two girls that live with us, they're like our daughters. That's what yeah. we call them. Yeah. And they, we wanted to give them an opportunity before we got outside help. Sure. Okay. So we asked them, would you like to both work in the shop as well? Because sure. they had been a part of us. They live mm -hmm. with us. Okay. They're a part of us. So we were mm -hmm. like, let's give them the opportunity. And we want to bring them out a lot more, get confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So those were our first point of course uh, yeah so mm -hmm. initially we started off with six members staff, yes and then we reduced that down to well uh, a couple of people uh, admitted themselves due yes. to the fact that um they were not serious they were not, not serious, serious. not yeah. serious well, all the time not coming on time not or coming just on time uh, a lot of excuses with mm -hmm. regards to um not not like like not showing up yeah not showing up yeah. or, or i'm not feeling well today yeah. or and then we had one issues. yeah and then we had one um, that you know he broke a spoon he lied about it mm. then we had to check the cameras oh, you know yes. and then it was like chale yeah. go yeah. yeah so <laughs> so there was a lot yeah. in ghana has its challenges yeah um, sometimes you have to be not just an employee, mm. but also a counsellor. Yes. Uh, you have to be, <laughs> you have to know about micromanaging oh, a lot. Yes. Um, yeah. Trying to and have put certain systems system in place, place yeah. like as um, prompts. Yeah. So like there's a, a, a daily checklist that I, I've yeah. formulated. Right. So if I know that they're struggling, yeah. it's not for us to be like, okay, you're struggling, go. Yeah. How can I... In, oh, yeah, yeah, able them to mm -hmm. be work better and right. more efficient. Yeah. So I've created things to help them, Fantastic. and I think working in the UK gave me that balance yeah, absolutely. enough absolutely. to help them. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I think um, yeah, it's a lot of micromanaging. Yeah. Uh, I think if you do have a business in Ghana, mm -hmm. you have to make sure you're, you're present. Yes, um, having a you business and, and just outside, thinking you can no. just leave it for um, Ghanaians to run, yeah. you could probably find yourself in a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, it's not saying that they have the capabilities, mm -hmm. but something that is so niche of yeah. fish and chips yeah. where they don't yeah. understand the concept. Yeah. Uh, we realise that we have to be here full time before it could actually run on autopilot. Yeah, 100%. Um, and, and to be honest, we enjoy being present. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I'll yeah. be yeah, honest with you, I enjoy being here, oh, seeing yeah. customers walk in yeah. Yeah, and being able to greet them with a smile yeah, and give them feeling. that yeah. level of customer service that sometimes isn't entrenched in our culture, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's just maybe changing that. Yep. You know, we could be the first and try and filter that down Absolutely. to others mm -hmm. to realize, oh, okay, this business is doing everything that we're not and it's more customer focused yeah. and consistent with the food yeah. and yep. everything and hopefully changing that narrative. Because yep. I hate to hear when people say, oh, it's you Ghana. go somewhere, it's Ghana. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, yeah. you have to wait. What does that mean? Does An that mean that we don't, yeah. Yeah. We don't do excellent stuff? Yeah. 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 It needs to stop. Nah, because yeah. there is, I mean, I even had another interview and she was like, look, whenever she tries to correct them, she's like, but this is Ghana. Mm. Like, you know, so it's mm. like, you can't, there's no point correcting it yes. because 
this is it. Yeah. And, and we should just change. settle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we shouldn't. No. Yeah. We, we should always settled. be trying to raise the bar. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I hate that negative stance that people have, oh, it's Ghana. We can't do any better. No, mm. we can. Mm. Where we come from as a people, yeah, and the richness in our culture, yeah. we, we can do it, yeah. so mm. many things. Absolutely. Mm. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think, you know, that's why um, we set up the Diaspora Transition Network. Mm. Okay. To allow more diasporans to come. Because I feel like the more of us that come, yeah. mm -hmm the more change yes. that we can filter in yes. into the system. Yeah. Right. And also having that support system. Like you said, there was moments mm -hmm. where you wanted to go, yes. Yes. but you had a support system yes. Yes, where right. at least you were talking to your husband, he yes. was encouraging you yes. and yeah. stuff like that. And then yes. the, the other person that you mentioned, the oh, housing noble. property. Noble, Elbow. Oh, noble, noble. Yeah. and Elbow. You know, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. those little, little things yes. yeah. Yeah. would it's deter you yeah. and just, 100%. just let you go back, yeah. you know? So with all the challenges, do you yep. think it's been worth it? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I fully agree. I mean, uh, f okay, so we opened the 20th of uh, November, mm -hmm. end of last year. Mm -hmm. um, a touch was we was opened by the British High Commission. Yes. Um, Ian, had, was it Ian at the time? No, no it was Tom. Uh, Tom, Tom. It was Hartley. Tom. Yeah, so, the deputy. Tom, yeah, yeah, deputy, yeah. yeah. So Tom Hartley came, uh, cut the ribbon for us. Mm. Um, and f I think some, since we've opened, we've had... Uh, consistent customers consistent. every day every since day. we've been open. And we've got a regular customers, we've got regular which is customers, more important yeah. to me. Wow. New people, and you're retaining, yes. you're retaining yeah. the yes. customers. And I, I realised how powerful word of mouth is in Ghana. Oh. Um, so our name is spreading. Mm. Um, we've got a, quite a large South African base. Oh yeah, in terms of customers. really? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. fish and chips in South Africa yeah, is massive. Yeah, yeah. So oh, people, yeah. yeah. Appreciate the support from a lot of South Africans. Yeah. And I think for us, we've kind of learned to learn the balance between family life as well as work yeah. life yeah. as well. So because we've got a young family, yeah. So we Mondays have to is our balancing. actual days off that we take. Yeah. And um, on I Sundays think we close at like early, six yeah. rather okay. than ten. Okay. So that we can spend yeah. time with our family. And I think for us, we're more or less as day to day we're falling in love with the process of yeah. how things work uh, yeah. i think i saw an interview with you with, with uh, honorable kennedy yes. he says you have to fall in love yeah. with your work absolutely yeah. and for absolutely. us it's something that over a period of time we've yeah. started to fall in love with the process yeah. um, and as we said as we grow our menu will grow also yeah so if i just highlight yeah, our let's, menu. Yeah, let's do so we kept our menu simple mm -hmm. because we wanted to make sure that our supply chain was perfect yeah mm. so as you can see we've just got the fish and, fish chips. and chips we've mm -hmm. got two types of fish that yeah. we offer uh -huh. we have the red fish yeah. and we have the white fish mm -hmm. so the white fish is the cassava mm -hmm. and the red fish is the red snapper yes um all our potatoes are actually direct well all our chips sorry mm -hmm. is from the potatoes itself yeah wow. so they're all hand cut parboiled then fried so wow. it's not chips in a bag no no but no. you just fry it one of these babies they're yeah. done everything is oh, done yeah. oh my fresh. goodness everything is done fresh Wow. So, directly so the from Irish potato. potato. So, so yeah. we literally just peel this, parboil it, mm -hmm. and fry it. Mm -hmm. So it's traditional. Yep. Wow. It's done. Nothing is frozen. Even the fish is from Tema Harbour. Yeah. Wow. So nothing wow. is frozen. We don't do anything, anything frozen. Yeah. All yeah. the sauces are made here yeah. from scratch. My goodness. Everything. So we so have our fish from Tema. Mm -hmm. um, that so far, our supply chain in terms yeah. of where we get it's our. good. Yeah, it's been going well so far. Yeah. Awesome. Um, we'll add a vegan option as well. Soon. That's good. Oh no, it's so added. Well. It's added oh, okay, already. See, see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. Cool. It's ready. Um, it's tried. It's yeah. tested. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. My vegan friends loved it. So that's also added. We need to add, be added to there. So to the, okay. On our med social media, we put it out that yeah. it's there. Yeah. So my vegan family, please yeah. come. Start, come. start coming in. Yes. Start coming in. So. Yeah, I mean, in terms of yeah. feedback, um, yeah. our rating on Google, which yeah. we take pride in, has yeah. been most of it's been five stars. Yeah, uh, people have really enjoyed the food. Yeah. Um, and have you been getting some UK people coming? Oh, 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 oh my yeah, god, yeah, yeah, my UK family, yeah. there's a lot. This is like the hub. This is like oh the hub. Oh my yeah. listen, we had a customer that came in yeah. on Saturday, yes. and they've been back four times, and yeah. they come in like the walk of shame. Yeah, like, yeah, like, we're so sorry. Yeah. Like I'm like, no, 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 come, because I understand it. Sometimes you're just craving. Food yeah, that yeah, you've yeah. had growing up, yeah. and it's sometimes it's not the wache, it's not the fufu, it's not mm, the bangu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just want something that reminds you mm. of home, yes. that the other it's, home. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, when I when you sent me some, when I got some, and I took it home to the yeah. kids. Oh my yeah. goodness, oh. they were like, oh, "Mommy, nice. this is, oh, <laughs> this is nice. just like London's yeah. one." So, yeah. like, trust me, you've got it to it. Thank you. Thank you've you. You've got it to a T, and Thank I will so. encourage you. Now, I know that 
this is not just going to be a one shot. Oh, There's no, going to no, be no. several that's no. going to be opened no. up in Ghana. By God's by grace, by we want a franchise. We want, yeah. We'll keep the same. We want to keep the same concept. Yeah. Yes. So I think sometimes when you go bigger, you can lose that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So we want to keep the same concept yeah. and and keep the same consistency of the food. That's yeah. very important to yeah. me. Yeah. So everything that is on that menu that we have cur curated here, yeah. it is with so much thought, yeah. mm -hmm. love. And yeah. you add the vinegar, like oh, yeah. Yeah. everything yeah. is yeah. like, yeah. listen. Yeah. The onion, we have the onion, onion vinegar, vinegar. You have malt vinegar, vinegar. like. You have everything yeah. in the yeah. pack. Everything. Yes. everything, mushy peas. The mu like, I've changed the mushy peas. Oh, have you? Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's not, because in the UK, they just simply mash the peas yeah. and throw it on. And I was mm -hmm. like, I can't bring that home to yeah. my, my people. So They'll be like, what's this? So I've seasoned it and I've given it a more gourmet twist on it, you know? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. I'm going to go for a short commercial break. Sure. When we come back, I'm going to taste my fish uh, and uh -huh. come here without eating the fish and chips you know that right oh, I know I've tasted it the uh -huh. kids have loved it uh -huh. but I need to taste it again <laughs> is it ready uh -huh. we have some ready for you yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'll be right back okay ladies please can you bring it for us and the packaging as well like oh, everything it. is like try to keep it as authentic as yeah. possible as possible yeah. wow. <laughs> this side come this side uh -huh. yeah. right here yeah. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Yao. Thank These you are so much. Girls. Hey, Captain Yao girls. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. So whilst I'm digging in, just yes. talk me through the process of like okay. the potatoes okay. and everything. So from let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So the potato, the chips are made from Irish potatoes. Right. Yeah. So we cut them. We you, so you import them. Yes. Okay. So they're imported. We have made contact with, um, we actually contacted somebody in the Netherlands and they actually had a point of contact here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually get them straight from 
um, the person, the dispatcher, basically. Right. So, potatoes, chips are made from our Irish potatoes. Mm -hmm. yep. So we peel this, then we cut them, and then we parboil them, mm -hmm. and then we fry them. Yep. So just like how we do it back wow. in the UK. Sure. So, so um, the so sauces that are here, mm -hmm. we've, in, we've tweaked it a little bit, mm -hmm. just for it being in Africa, we felt so like... This is the pepper sauce. This that's is the hot pepper, pepper, sauce. Yeah, hot pepper sauce. So that's made with our caposhito, mm -hmm. uh, red and green, mm. um, or scotch bonnet for those who, yeah. Yeah, who, do, <laughs> who may not know that term. Mm -hmm. And we basically boil it down, reduce it and season it. Mm -hmm. And then this, this is the it. lovable tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the, uh, the, the African nice. take on the mushy peas. Mm. <laughs> Yes, and this is this is a regular size, which is mm. uh, large in our UK. Mm. Yeah, at mm. home. Mm. Yeah. So this is 72, 72 Ghana cities. cities. Yes, mm -hmm. and then we have a small one, which mm. is forty-five, 45 cities. Ghana cities. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and the reason why we did that is because um, me personally, I was very much um, keen to be able to involve everybody yeah. in the food mm -hmm. because I find that certain establishments they do a type of food that our local Ghanaians can't, can't afford, afford. Yeah. and that to me was something that was very important yeah. because I am Ghana is within me so mm -hmm. it has to be mm -hmm. inclusive so mm -hmm. the Sporans are over here people that have money can afford it and also people that live here yeah. that yeah. are residents yeah. local residents uh, of Ghana for ourselves, we also do chicken as well mm -hmm. um, we do uh, our chicken is banging please we do two types of uh, glazes on our chicken. We yeah. have the uh, barbecue yeah, and, and we the have jerk. the jerk, yeah. jerk chicken as and well. And the jerk is, mm -hmm. I've used the recipe as the Jamaicans mm -hmm. would use. So mm -hmm. it's a Caribbean take on the barbecue mm -hmm. and the Jamaican gla yeah. and the jerk pepper glaze. And then we have um, fried mm -hmm. rice yep. and a uh, creamy lovely. mash that we do as well. Yes. Which, which mash? Creamy, creamy mash. mash. Oh. It's a creamy mash. Yeah. Um, and that's the and then pies as well. Yep, we do so um, steak, steak pies, yeah, and also steak. have chicken and mushroom pies. Yeah, and they're as just well. like the ones back home, that puff pastries. pies, similar yeah. to pucker pies as well. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've tried to. I mean, the only thing that we need to add is uh, the saveloy and the sausage in batter. Sausage but I'm batter. having a difficulty because yeah. how we do our sausages here are different. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm having a difficulty. So I may have yeah. to, may have to import yeah. it, which I don't want to. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to get everything here yeah. and yeah. keep it. You know the potatoes. We can't do it here. We can't. Uh, we've tried. We tried, we've tried. We tried growing we've already. Tried. You know. Yeah, okay. Tried. We had a contact in a brewery, okay. and we were trying to grow it, and it wasn't successful. But yeah. I don't know how they were doing it. So I think we need to be more in, in control of the growing right. process, yeah. seeing yeah. as though we were doing it yeah. in the in UK. The, yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, think if there's anybody out here, anybody out here that has a spot of land that, that knows that, how yeah, to or grow, knows how to grow, grow it. potatoes, by yeah. all means, I'll be willing. Listen, and I'm sure we'll find somebody for you. Yeah, because we can do it. We can do it. Yeah. Ghana's land is very fertile. We can grow anything mm. maybe a brie wasn't the right place yes. you know like yes. different things you have to grow yeah. in yes. different places no, you're right. You're right. so i think we need to find out where yeah. it can be grown yeah. yeah i think probably possibly further up north yeah because i believe uh, bikino faso actually grows potatoes yeah, yeah. yeah. so we should be able to um, do so it we, should we can do everything in ghana mm -hmm. we can do everything in ghana so that that is my belief so everything that i try to have it's from here mm -hmm. do you know what i mean so that's what eventually would like to have our own irish potatoes growing them and mm -hmm. giving jobs to farmers exactly do you yeah. get what i'm saying Absolutely. so creating sustainability as a business is very yeah. important yeah. so if we can do something that will help as well as sustain the business and it'll be homegrown yeah. that's ideal yeah. awesome. that's what we want to do okay three things you have learned so far on your journey both of you hmm. patience patience <laughs> yeah. patience patience first one patience, yeah. Man. yeah patience um, that's been a big um, factor. yeah a massive factor because Ghana will humble you really quickly. Oh, yes. If you come here with any arrogance, yes. any oh, yes. ignorance, yes. Mm. it will humble you quick. Wow. Very quick. So understand that just because you're coming from the UK, don't think that you're coming here to be smarter than anybody here, right. to be better than anybody here. No. You know, because sometimes living in the West, we can come with that arrogance in a sense mm -hmm. and think that, you know, we're the only well, people. people don't know nothing. Yeah, no. like, no, 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 yeah, no, no. no. Correct very quick. Yeah, right. and there's brilliance very here. Quick. There's a lot of brilliance yeah. here. Okay. Um, so when you come, be humble and be willing to merge and educate yourself mm. and learn. And learn from them yeah, as well. Yeah, because living abroad and coming on holiday is different from living here. Mm. It's two different experiences. So you have to be open-minded mm -hmm. and willing to embrace everything that is Ghana. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, the thing, thing about Ghana is that when people see you are down, they'll come and help you. Yeah. Um, be it your support. car could break down, yeah. all of a sudden someone will just London, rush out. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. driving yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's stopping. There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's a real Nobody frequency stops. of love in this yeah. country. Yeah. High frequency. Like where people can see us even when we come and we try to speak to all of our neighbours in yeah. this community mm -hmm. here. Yeah. We get along with as best as we can with everybody. Yeah. Um, oh, good, if yeah. we see someone in help or someone sees that we need help, yeah, um, even when we was constructing the shop, yeah. the amount of people that used to come and yeah. show support. Yeah. Um, I think one time when I was building the platform for the Polytank, yeah. a guy gave us the free sand to yeah. use. There's a love language yeah. in Ghana yeah. and when you start to tap into it, you realise that a lot of people do want you to win. Don't yeah. get me wrong, there's always going to be the negative one or two, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's life. but there is a, definitely a love language in Ghana 100%. here that I appreciate a lot 100%. through what the people have shown me and how yeah. they've been interacting with us. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's been and positive. I think the last one last for me one. is, this is the land of manifestation. Mm. Yeah. The land yeah. of manifestation. Yeah. Wow. Very true. And for me Thank here, you. there's no doubt in my mind that God isn't in this place. Oh, yeah. wow. Because anything, be careful what you say in Ghana, because <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. if it's negative, it will happen. And yeah. if it's positive, it will happen. Mm. Wow. So be careful with your thoughts mm. and with your words, because mm. whatever you, you say, it will manifest here, oh, yes. 100%. Yeah. There's been so many moments that we've said things, things and we're like, yeah. And then ah, how it happened. unfolds, the story unfolds. Yeah, just like, yeah. God, do you really have a sense of humour? Mm. What are you doing yeah. up there? Like, so I would definitely say, mm. if you are positive and you say, you mm. speak positive things, mm -hmm. this is the place to do it. Even the concept of just how we had this back in the UK yeah. and it become our reality yeah. today and trying to make it as successful as it yeah. can be. Yeah. Um, and just the power of just sometimes uh, visualising uh, we hope customers are going to come yeah, in and we hope yeah. that Ghanaians are going to embrace, embrace, embrace this concept yeah, of fish yeah. and chips and so far so oh good so for it to yeah, be, we really do thank God for that going and going wow. and customers coming in and calls and the, you know the, the, the response and the reviews wow. mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't Amazing. put it into words yeah. 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 Amazing. and what was it like when you told your friends and family that you were moving back and how was the have they been calling you to say how is it going? Uh, yeah. Are you coming back? Like, uh, is everything alright there? Are, are you suffering? Yeah. Like the, the the conception of what um, Africa is, mm. it's it's quite construed, mm. you know. Mm. Um, I think we've had a lot of bad examples mm -hmm. being in the UK of what Africa is, what was shown, you know, like the starvation adverts, you know, the children in you know mud huts, and yeah. that was. Um, some people that I spoke to, so my immediate family were like, okay. Mm -hmm. There were one or two that were like, oh, it's going to be difficult, mm -hmm. you know, trying to put you off. Mm -hmm. um, but our immediate close friends and family were like, no, go for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Go for it, take yeah. the risk. Because it was a big risk. Yeah. It's not definite that it would work. Yeah. You know, it's not a definite that it would I work. I think uh, they was unsure. Yeah which is understandable yeah. because doing anything new yeah. people are always going to have their doubts yeah, about yeah. it but and we it never them, yeah. Yeah, discouraged to yeah. feel that this is not the right thing to do and the fact that your first visit was in 2020 yes yeah but let's break that down a little bit more his okay. first visit was in 2020 mm -hmm. then he came back the second time 2021 yeah. in march yeah. may, may. Then he moved yeah, on his third made, time. Yeah, so he'd only wow. been to Ghana Three times, maybe two times before four it. weeks, two, two before times, it. and that was four weeks. Yeah. And, and then you saw the opportunity. Yeah, no, I saw it. So in that week, so, you saw so, it. So clearly, yeah. I could vividly see where this can go. As long, I know if anything in time, it takes a lot of hard work. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not a stranger to hard work. Yeah. Um, so as long as you put in the work and you're respectable to people around you yeah. and you treat everybody fairly, yeah. I believe you will be successful in yeah, life. Yeah, 100%. And I think this is just the point for us. This is just our, our new chapter in our life yeah. where we believe that we're evolving as yeah. human beings as we should. Yeah. And this experience is just something that we just want to show to people that it is possible to yeah. come to Ghana. Yeah. And you can change successful. the narrative. Yeah. Absolutely. You can. Absolutely. You can. And this is this is the beginning. So we're just ready mm. for mm. Yeah. anything else because if we can achieve this then Mm. Oh my yeah. God, by God's grace, what, what else can we achieve? Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's also changing the narrative of how people see um, Africa. I, I had a friend even recently, mm -hmm. I must have sent him a video of a, um, a Lamborghini car, because mm -hmm. I, I love cars. Mm -hmm. And he was like, what? this is in Ghana. And I'm yeah. like, that, that, like even is, that this car is, this is small. This is, yeah, this is, this is. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but then you realise the conception, the concept that we have of Africa yeah. sometimes is so 
far yeah. behind that when you show people things that are current yeah. it's like i didn't even know no, that was yeah. here and yeah. it triggers something yeah, it does because it, it triggers you to find out more yeah. what's really going on yeah. and i think for me that was as soon as i came here and i landed it like literally took a sheet of blindness of my face mm. in terms of what i thought africa was yeah. or ghana was yeah. and then when i saw what it really was mm. and i saw the different levels of um the economy's yeah, booming. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, the economy's yeah, booming. Yeah, like, yeah. ah, sis, you're enjoying your meal. <laughs> I even want the interview to be over. <laughs> you people are disturbing me. <laughs> Do you do delivery? Yes, yes. we okay. deliver. We're yeah. a yeah. Shumia food. Okay. Yes. We're just going online uh, with uh, bulk, bulk food. Bulk, yeah. okay. Um, and then we also have an intermittent delivery service in the week as well to balance that out. Yeah. So yes, 100%. So anywhere in Accra, as yeah. long as if you could call us, we'll arrange for a rider, yes. okay. a dispatch to um, deliver your food to you. So, so for my people outside of Accra, we're loading. Mm. Loading <laughs> We're soon. loading when we more. get more and more, because we would love to have a place in Kumasi. Oh, yeah. yeah. That to me would yeah. be like, okay, I've That'll gone back. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know. You've done something yeah. in your hometown yes. as well. 100%. Yes. So, so your last advice to diasporans who are watching you right now, mm -hmm. um, who are thinking of moving back, mm -hmm. but they still don't have that courage mm -hmm. of moving back, what would your advice be to them? Um, I would say um, do a lot of research yeah. into what you actually want to do, mm -hmm. because sometimes you can find something that's tailored to you and you don't know how far you can go with that idea. Yeah. Um, have a tremendous level of belief in yourself. Yes, 100%. Um, that's important and a good support system around you. Mm -hmm. People that don't question you, but yeah. encourage you to yeah. sometimes make decisions that are different from what other people might think. Yeah. Um, Ghana's not easy. Yes. I'm not here to pretend and act like yeah. it's just been a walk in the park. Yeah. There has been times where we've questioned ourselves yeah. and the situation. Um, but if you take it step by step mm -hmm. and you can see light at the end of the tunnel yeah. you will be successful in whatever you try to do and i believe that's a, a concept for anything you do in life 100%. um ghana is a beautiful place yeah. you can find immense peace here yeah. um not and I, I like to highlight that everything is just centered around accra yes. mm. yeah. you can go outside yeah. of accra yeah. and find some amazing yeah, and opportunities yeah, yeah. spaces yeah. uh opportunities mm. um it's just all of us coming together having ideas yeah. building with one another and seeing how we can support each other as a system. Yeah, 100%. I always said to my wife, because we've actually stepped out and did this ourselves, mm -hmm. if there's any questions that people want to ask us, like, yeah. how do we do this? How do we contact that? By all means, we're more than willing to help yeah. and, and assist anybody that's and trying to make that transition. I think I would say, if you're feeling and double thinking about something, mm -hmm. it's trying to tell you something. something. Yeah. Right. There's a little voice that is triggering you, yeah. like, have you, you, you yeah. should think about that. Yeah. And I always say, that voice, it's, more connected to you than you realize so yeah. follow it yeah take the risk yeah. take the leap mm. you know like don't don't be scared because a lot of us are scared of failure but failure is a lesson mm. yeah failure is a lesson yeah. and it's a way to okay that didn't work so there's another way so it causes yeah. you to use more parts of yourself yeah. your your brain yeah. 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 to think yeah, and problem right. solve so yeah. take the risk mm. take, take the risk. risk if anything what we're doing take that as an example yeah. because it could not have happened. Yeah. Absolutely. And I felt like when we was in the UK, mm. we was alive, but we wasn't living. 100%. Mm. Preach. Say that again. Preach. <laughs> when we was in the Sunday UK, sermon. we was alive, mm. but we wasn't living. Mm -hmm. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> when we was in the UK, mm -hmm. we was alive, mm -hmm. but we wasn't living. <laughs> the show. Yeah. That's going to be the title. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. That is going to be the title. Yeah. I swear. You yeah. were alive, but you, you weren't, weren't living. living. No. 100%. And then until you come to Ghana, you realize, mm. yeah, we're really living. Mind, body, Thinking, and spirit yeah, wow. is, yeah. is alive and yeah. free. Yeah. Mm. Free. Yeah. 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 And the possibilities of where you can go here. Yeah. It's endless. Yeah, it's endless. Yeah, it's endless. It's endless. As, a, as a black person. Yeah, there's no cap. There's no, no cap. There's, no yeah, there's no ceiling. Wow. There's no ceiling. Yeah, there's no ceiling. Yeah, no ceiling. And that's what, that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. And to <sighs> give to our children as well. Wow. Yeah. That is so <laughs> powerful. Thank you so much, oh, thank Nanaya. You thank you thank so you. much, Clinton. Thank you, Kwame. Yes, um, Kwame. <laughs> you know, I think what you have done is going to inspire so many other people. Oh, we hope thank so. You. And um, we will have you on um, the Diaspora Transition Network. Just speak to some other members who are transitioning, sure. who yeah. really need we'll encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're so grateful. Don't Aww. give up, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have it's started. <laughs> is incredible oh, and we need you. more and more of you to come thank you Appreciate and you so um i'm i'm super excited now the camera can you please go <laughs> so i can finish my food please <laughs> <laughs> hello
Hello guys, my name is Cassandra and I'm here to invite each and every one of you guys to the Diaspora Transition Network. It's a network for everyone in the diaspora to join. Any issues you have with GRA, Ghana's Register's Office, Lands Commission, they are here to help support and also guide you through it all. So click the link and sign up and join today.